welcome though my loves let's see what we have here for my beautiful scorpios sun moon rising and venus signs clarity guidance and love messages please holy spirit for my beautiful scorpios please sun moon rising venus so we have the emperor popped out here the hanged man let me just adjust the brightness on this a little bit i feel like the video is so dark a little bit better to see okay so we've got the emperor okay we've got aries taurus energy on the board okay so we have the ten of wands in the reverse we have the seven of cups in the reverse we have the ten of pentacles in the reverse we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy, Clarity Guidance, Love Messages, and we've got the Judgment Card, look how pretty that word is, the Judgment Card, Sagittarian Energy. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, tell me about Scorpio, please. So we have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy, and we have the Three of Pentacles in the upright we've got temperance sagittarian energy clarity guidance love messages for my scorpios please so we have the three of swords in the reverse this is the ten of swords i'm sorry scrolls is uh swords on this deck three of swords in the reverse we've got the four of swords in the reverse clarity guidance love messages for my scorpios and spirals as wands i'm sorry nine of wands so we've got the ten of swords in the reverse the four of swords in the reverse the three of swords in the reverse and the nine of wands okay under the deck we have the two of swords so scorpio what i'm seeing here in the recent past or maybe this could even be coming into the future because time is not linear so take it as it resonates okay but what I'm feeling here is we have a situation where there was this person that came into your life. They could have been a little bit older, but someone here I'm feeling made a lot of promises. They, they looked stable. They felt stable. Um, they made you feel safe. They made you feel safe. But with the Ten of Swords in the reverse and the Page of Sword, uh, excuse me, the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, what I'm feeling here is, is that someone here made a lot of promises that they would never leave you, that they they would never hurt you that they would never do these things but as it turns out they're not keeping those promises scorpio okay they're not keeping those promises someone here was saying you know i'm an emperor i'm i'm, I'm solid I'm, I'm this i'm that you can lean on me you can trust me you can do all these things i'm here to stay i'm not going anywhere i want a family with you i want all these things with you but with the ten of swords in the reverse and the page of pentacles in the reverse it's like they're saying they're not going to hurt you, but then again, they're not keeping their promises. So it's kind of like this confusing energy. Um, Seven of Cups in the reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. The fog is clearing here, Scorpio. Okay, you're starting to gain clarity. Um, like you're starting to see through this person's bullcrap. Okay, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. There's no abundance here. Okay, there's no abundance here. There's no family. There's no relation. Like, there's just a lot of promises, but you're just not seeing, you're not reaping the benefits of these promises. Okay, and you're starting to see that clearly here. With temperance here, there's an energy of, I've been patient. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And with the three of swords in the reverse, you finally reach this energy of, I just don't care anymore. It doesn't even hurt anymore. Like, you've made so many promises and broken so many promises and I'm seeing clearly now that this is going nowhere. And I, I just, I, I've been hurting for so long that I've healed and I just don't even care anymore. <laughs> With the, the hermit here, Virgo energy and the four of swords in the reverse. Scorpio, I feel like you're going to start pulling away from your person because you've healed. Like, you know, someone can only hurt you so much until finally you're like, I'm done. You know, like, I, I just don't even care anymore. You know, like, there's this sense of, like, I just don't even care anymore. With the Judgment card and the Nine of Wands, Scorpio, I feel like you're making a final decision here to put your guard up, to defend yourself, to just, you know, to, 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 to block this person out. With the Two of Swords, you're no longer opening up your heart space to this person anymore. You're no longer letting them in. You're no longer letting them lie to you. Um, 
this person doesn't have the ability to hurt you anymore, Scorpio. They just don't have, um, they lost that privilege, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Because when we love someone and we open our heart to someone, we are giving them um, the ability to hurt us if they so cho chose, right? You know, so there's a level of trust there. And Scorpio, you just don't trust this person anymore. Tell me about this Emperor energy. We've got the King of Cups. There you are, Scorpionic energy. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles, please. And we've got the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I, I feel like this person came towards you with so many promises. There was like this loving, solid, safe feeling. Okay, so much communication, so much communication, um, all about starting a new life, building something solid, ten of swords in the reverse, six of swords in the four of wands, yeah, I'm never going to leave you, I'm never going to hurt you, this connection is moving towards marriage, stability, this person maybe promised you a house, a home, a family, they promised you so many things, page of pentacles in the reverse, but it's not happening, you're still in the dark here. You have no idea what's going on, okay? It's like you're trying to see the light here. You're trying to see, okay, so you made all these promises, but I'm not really seeing the, I'm not seeing anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like someone, you know, orders something waiting for a delivery at the window, but where is it? You know, like you're still in the dark here. You're not seeing any light at the end of this tunnel, Scorpio. You're not, like, there's so many promises, but where, when, when is this happening? Tell me about the Seven of Cups in the reverse. That wanted to come out. Yeah, I feel like what's happening here is, Scorpio, after so much time of needing to heal, maybe some of you have gone through a depression, you're starting to guard yourself with the Queen of Swords energy. You're starting to not trust this person anymore, you know? This person has really... Um, had you down and out and hurt you a lot okay you're seeing through the illusion now you're seeing through the bullcrap that they you're just you're just done with this ten of pentacles in the reverse and the three of swords in the reverse again three of swords yeah you're just you're not seeing it. I, I feel like for a long time you've been living in the past, living uh, back in the day when this person made these promises and how sweet and romantic it was and how safe you felt and how cozy it felt to have someone make these beautiful big promises to you. Tell me about temperance. Time has killed this. Yeah, see, look, we've got the Seven of Cups in the reverse again, Scorpio, with the Justice card in the reverse, Libra energy. After spending so much time, Scorpio, with not receiving your justice, not being treated unfairly, only living off of the fuel of promises and not ever really receiving anything, you're just starting to see things clearly with that Seven of Cups in the reverse, Three of Swords in the reverse, the Fool card. You don't trust this person anymore. The Fool card in the reverse, Aries energy. You just don't trust them anymore. You don't. Yeah, you, you don't, you, it's like, I don't, yeah, sure, sure, we're going to have a house. Yeah, sure, sure, we're gonna, yeah, whatever you say, whatever you say, you know, you just don't believe them anymore. You're not going to take, you're not willing to take that leap of faith to trust them with all the crap that they talk. Tell me about the hermit card. Now, you see, here we have the hermit in the reverse, and now we have him in the upright. So, Scorpio, this is you seeing the light. This is you gaining clarity. This is you seeing the situation for what it is. And with the Two of Swords and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, I feel like what you're doing is you're gaining your confidence here. You're standing your own ground. With this enlightenment is going to come some arguments, because now you're calling this person out on their crap. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Is this what we're doing? Well, then why aren't you doing this? And why haven't I seen this? And why haven't we? Oh, we're going to get married. Why haven't we gotten engaged? Or, oh, we're going to move in. Why have? Why has it been three years and we still haven't looked at houses? You know what I'm saying? There's this, the, the sense of enlightenment is going to cause you to start defending yourself and snapping back. Someone here is about to clap back, as they say in New York. <laughs> Someone's going to start clapping back. Four of swords in the reverse. Ooh, that's a lot of cards. Um, yeah, see, four swords in the reverse, there's healing here. Leo energy with the sun card, two of pentacles. You're no longer in this energy. Well, I don't know, maybe they'll eventually, maybe, you know, uh, keep their promises. Maybe eventually, maybe they're just busy. Maybe they don't have time for me. You don't care no more. You just don't care. You, you've gained the enlightenment here. Um, we've got the four of, so the five, excuse me, 
Five of Swords and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You're you're tired of fighting here, Scorpio. You're tired of fighting to be loved. You're tired of fighting. You know, you're tired of fighting. It's like this person. It's like mind games. You know what I'm saying with that Five of Swords? They come towards you with all of these promises, like you know, all this romantical stuff. But it's mind games. Tell me about the Judgment card. Yeah, the Moon in the reverse. Major enlightenment here, Scorpio. You're freeing yourself. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Major and enlightenment the truth is out you're seeing things for what they are and you're making the final judgment call nine of wands and the world card yeah scorpio you're releasing you're ending this cycle nine of wands again under the deck the four of pentacles the tower and the ace of swords you're holding back scorpio you're gonna let this tower fall because you're seeing the truth that this person has no intention of ever really keeping their promise clarity guidance love messages for my scorpios take time to breathe out and your hard work is paying off so i feel we've got a new start is coming so i feel scorpio this is an energy of you're putting in the work to stand your ground just take a deep breath because it may be a little overwhelming. There's once you start standing up for yourself, that's when stuff is really going to start to hit the fan. You know what I'm saying? That's when it's going to start to get ugly. But just put in that work to release yourself of this and you have a beautiful new start coming. Storm warning. I'm telling you, it's going to get ugly before it gets better. It's going to get worse before it gets better. All tied up. You're, you're starting to see here that you're stuck in a very bad third chakra. So I'm kind of getting that stomach rolling, um, anxiety type of feeling. like Because it's starting to build up inside of you, Scorpio. The more you start to see the truth of the situation, the more you're going to feel the need to speak and ask questions. You're no longer patient about this. Now you have questions. Why? Why are we doing this? Why? You, you know, you keep promising this. Why? Why haven't we done this yet? So it's like that stomach twisting type of feeling. We've got family, friends, and guides. We've got dark thoughts. And we've got victim mentality. Um, I feel like even your family, your friends are getting involved in this, Scorpio. Even they're starting to say, but why? Why is it, you know, they're even jumping in. You know, why is this person hurting you like this? Why is this person? So not only are you feeling it inside of you, Scorpio, but you've got friends and family that are also kind of adding to that, okay? Someone here may be saying, listen, I feel like they're only using you, you know, they're only toying with you. They're, it's like someone's like they're making a joke out of you type of thing you know um or maybe they're just using you for their pleasure but they don't have any or like they just want to have a good time they're not really looking to settle down or really make something out of this messages for boat yep receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues scorpio you're moving away from this because you're realizing that this person is not going to keep any of their promises wedding union wedding married soul connection eternal love everlasting promise I feel that we've got healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic, toxic relationship or addiction. Scorpio, you're looking for something solid. You want to get married. You want something committed. You want something solid. And I feel like you're going to leave. You're going to heal from this. And that will come in. Okay, that will come in. Yeah, you're going to heal and that that will come in for you. Because you're not going to get it where you're at. Spirit, tell me about... Scorpio, please. Yeah, see? Release your ex. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And then we've got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deep. And Scorpio, you've got someone new coming in. You see how there's three people there? You're still in the process of releasing someone, but you're going to meet someone new. And I feel like that is going to be the person that you marry. Okay? I love you guys. Bye.